Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. You see we got Dora here, we're sitting on our pasture. It is actually nighttime, so go ahead, click that red subscribe button, and we will roll that intro and begin chapter 7 of Genesis in our Bible. So I've got my Bible here. You can get the same exact Bible down in the description below. You can use my link. There's an Amazon affiliate link and you guys could use it. Get the same exact Bible. Read along with us. Go back to our playlist. Bible read, Bible study with Trevor, I believe is what it's titled. It, anyhow, it's down below. You guys can see that. And follow along in reading Bible. Our goal is to get through the entire thing. And no certain time... Uh, limit on it just that's our end goal we want to get through the entire bible and then we'll read it again <laughs> so chapter 7 talks about noah and the flood um i'm gonna start right it's about we started it on chapter 6 a little bit so i'm gonna dive in here and here we go chapter 7 genesis then the lord said to noah go into the ark and you and all your household for I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of clean animals, the male and his mate, and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and his mate, and seven pairs of the birds of the heavens also, male and female, to keep their offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living thing that I have made I will blow out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that Lord, the Lord had commanded him. Noah was six hundred years old when the floods of waters came upon the earth. Noah and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him went into the ark to escape the waters of the flood. <laughs> Of clean animals and of animals that are not clean and of birds and everything that creeps on the ground two and two male and female went into the ark with Noah as God had commanded Noah and after seven days the waters of the flood came upon the earth in the 600th year of Noah's life in the second month on the 17th day of the month on that day all the fountains of the great depth deep burst forth and the windows of the heavens were open and rain fell upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights on the very same day noah and his sons shem and ham and japheth japheth and noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark they and every beast according to its kind, and all the livestock according to their kinds, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, every winged creature. They went into the ark with Noah, two and two, of all flesh in which they, there was the breath of life. And those that entered, male and female, of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. The flood continued forty days on the earth. The waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters prevailed and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heavens were covered. <laughs> the waters prevailed prevailed above the mountains covering them 15 cubits deep and all flesh died that moved on the earth birds livestock beasts all swarming creatures that swarm on the earth earth and all mankind everything on the dry land in whose nostril was the breath of life died he bloated out every living thing that was on the face of the ground man 
and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens. They were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those who were in the, with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed on the earth 150 days. And that brings us to chapter 8, Genesis, which we will be reading tomorrow. So check out tomorrow's video to follow along. Real, really appreciate you guys joining us along this journey. This, this is a way for me to help disciple others and be a good disciple by sharing God's word straight from the Bible. Straight from the Bible. So next, what I like to do in my videos, I try to do it every day, is I have a day-by-day -day devotions for dads. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to read today's. Which is a matter of trust. Only he who believes is obedient. Only he who is obedient believes. Dyrich, the rich, that's a weird name. Bon, Bonhoeffer, Bonhoeffer. That's a really weird name, I don't know. Why are we surprised when humans do nasty things? The Bible tells us all have sinned and fall, fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 And sinners, by definition, sin. As a matter of fact, I think if I wasn't in the grip of grace, I would be a really good sinner. Years ago, my brother and I used to lie in our bunk beds, planning the perfect crime. Gotta admit, many of those sinful options out there actually sound like fun. The only reason I strive to be obedient today is because I believe. I believe Jesus is who he says he is. And I guess the only reason I got to that point is because someone I trusted suggested I dig into the Bible. And I obeyed. Bon Bonhoeffer was right. Belief leads to obedience, and obedience leads to belief. Our kids are facing the same catch-22. They really aren't going to be obedient to you or to God unless they believe, and they choose to surrender to that authority. But they won't believe until they give your authority or God's authority a chance, thereby testing whether it makes sense to obey. If you're in your own power struggle with your kids or with God, start by understanding the link between belief and obedience. With your kids, the younger you get them to believe and obey, the easier it is. What about you? Too philosophical? Not really. The primary goal of any dad reading this devotional should be to get his kids to one, believe in God, and two, obey God. Those two goals are inseparable. Dad, if they come away believing, obeying, and trusting you, that's a bonus. At the end of the day, I want my kids to obey God. That, that's what matters. That's what matters to me the most. I want them to believe and obey God. So, if they obey and listen to me too, that would be, it'd be great. Like you said, it'd be a bonus. It'd be a bonus. Anyways, that's what we got for you guys today. I hope that you love watching this sunset behind us. It's still going. We will catch you tomorrow for chapter 8, Genesis. And I hope that you guys subscribe. These videos are completely free. I run no ads on them because I feel like this is just me doing God's work. And I feel there shouldn't be any ads on these. So I appreciate you guys hitting that button. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.